If you own a TD Ameritrade Singapore account, by now, you have probably received an email from them telling you that they'll be focusing on accredited investors in Singapore from now on. So in this video, I'll be sharing everything you need to know about what's going on with TD Ameritrade, what are the timelines you need to take note of, and what you need to do if you still have some positions with them. First up, TD Ameritrade will be discontinuing their services to non-accredited investors, or a better term known as peasants. Just kidding, but not really yo. MAS defines accredited investor as someone who fulfills any of the following three criteria. One, someone who earns more than 300k per year in the last 12 months. Or two, someone who has a net personal assets of $2 million or more, of which your house can only contribute up to $1 million. And lastly, you have a net financial assets of more than $1 million. If you qualify for any of these, good for you. You can apply to be an accredited investor and continue to use TD Ameritrade. Otherwise, too bad, you need to take out your money and stop using TD Ameritrade entirely. Either way, you need to take action as soon as possible. And by as soon as possible, I mean within one month. Starting 27 October 2023, all non-accredited investors will be charged a monthly fee of 50 US dollars. And they will keep charging this fee every month until the account goes to zero. Then by 1st December 2023, non-accredited investor accounts will not be able to place new trades or deposit in money anymore. Though you are able to close your positions and if you have a negative account balance, you can bring it back to a positive number. Finally, by 4th December 2023, they will just automatically liquidate all your positions, which will be bad just in case some guy decides to pump up your stock. So if you're qualified to be an accredited investor, all you need to do is just provide TD Ameritrade with some information and boom, you'll be able to continue using them. But if you are not an accredited investor, you have two options. You can either A, sell away all your stocks, withdraw your money, deposit into a new broker and buy back all your stocks, or B, perform a transfer to supported brokers. While TD Ameritrade usually charges a 75 US dollar fee for a full transfer, from now to 31st December 2023, they'll waive off any transfer or wire fees. So which are the brokers that you can transfer to? Check out this table, which by the way, is totally free to download. Link down below, yeah? Almost every other broker supports direct transfer from TD Ameritrade, except for Weibo. So if you want to use Weibo, you will need to manually liquidate your positions and buy them in the new broker. Also, as of right now, Mumu has a transfer in promotion both for new and existing users, where you can get up to 400 US dollars worth of rewards when you transfer your stocks in. I won't go too deep into which is the best broker to use since I've already covered it in this video, but essentially, each of them have their own advantage. For example, if you want the cheapest brokers for the US market, you can go with either IBKR or Mumu Singapore. If you only trade once or twice a month, you can go with Scythe Trade, which gives you two free trades per month. Or let's say if you need the London market to buy Ireland domicile ETFs such as VWRA and CSPS, you will need IBKR. So it entirely depends on what features you need. As to how you can perform the stock transfer, I won't go through each of them since each broker that supports it has a website showing you how to do the transfer. So that was a quick update about the TD Ameritrade situation. Hopefully you found it useful.